The Xbox Series X is Microsoft's answer to the current world's most powerful console. Gaming and tech enthusiasts crave power, advancements in hardware and chase upgrades and improvements in performance just to see their favorite games exceed expectations of how our favorite games can look and feel. The Xbox team has marketed the new Xbox to be the premier console to showcase the best looking games and even rivaling top tier PCs. But there is much more to the Xbox Series X than just teraflops. And the hardware lead for Xbox has much more to share than just the number 12. This is Colt Eastwood. Thank you for stopping by. I'm very excited to share this next chunk of Xbox console information with you because you're going to hear exactly why the Xbox Series X is much more than just a teraflop monster. And I wanted you to hear it directly from the Xbox team. So I've carefully selected a few clips of quotes from Major Nelson's recent interview. The 20 minute interview will be presented here visually cut down to the essential information. And if you appreciate content like this and the work I put in, please like and subscribe to the channel and set your video to 4K or 60 FPS mode and let's hear what makes this new console worth getting. For a few years, Sony and Microsoft have been touting the mid-generation PS4 Pro and Xbox One X consoles with a teraflop number akin to bragging about horsepower under the hood of a car. The 4.2 is less than 6 teraflop count essentially meant that the Xbox One X could run more and most big games at a true 4K resolution. But both consoles' weak CPU meant that 60 FPS oftentimes was off the table. Major Nelson of Xbox asked Jason Ronald, director of PM for the Xbox hardware team, what a teraflop is. Teraflops is an easy way to describe the overall power of the system and the GPU. But in reality, we actually view power much more expansive than sure. just teraflops itself. We put a lot of innovation into the Xbox Series X, and the real magic is gonna be the integration between hardware and software to not only use the raw capabilities of the box, but also to use it in the most efficient way possible to make your games even better. And once again, it's really about how can developers best use all the power that we're delivering to them yep. in the hardware. So from a raw performance perspective, you can think of 12 teraflops as two times the performance of an Xbox One X, and it's actually more than eight times Times more powerful than the original Xbox One. But not only that, but with the new RDNA 2 graphics technology that we've leveraged from AMD, it's actually significantly more efficient as well. So it's a much more uh, high performance box and what you'll actually see in the titles that ship on Xbox Series X will be unlike anything that you've seen before. Jason just explained that the Xbox Series X has plenty of power to provide top visuals unlike anything the Xbox One could provide and the Xbox One X routinely was compared to a $300 desktop GPU and rendered visuals at high resolutions, only higher end PCs could provide, but at 30 FPS. Another point Jason is trying to illustrate here is that consoles do not make games, the developers make games. And with the Xbox Series X, they will have more than enough power to impress critics and players alike with high resolutions, high performance, and more. A game changer for the new Xbox is photorealistic environments that hardware accelerated ray tracing provides. This is the next step in increasing the immersion for the Xbox Series X. You know, the techniques of ray tracing have been around for many, many years, yeah. but we've never actually had the power to be able to do this in real time. And now with the introduction of hardware accelerated ray tracing with the Xbox Series X, we're actually able to enable a whole new set of scenarios, whether that's more realistic lighting, better reflections. What we're really focused on is really driving that next level of immersion yeah. in your gaming experiences. Yeah. And that imply that applies to both the visuals as well as the audio experience that you have. So, you know, there's a lot of new capabilities that developers are gonna have with Xbox Series X that they've never been able to do before. Ray tracing is discussed a lot and it is a first for AMD to implement on a console and soon their line of desktop GPUs. Ray trace lighting in real time is what makes this shot right here from Ninja Theory's Project Mara look incredibly realistic. And most viewers assume that this is a dolly shot video camera in a real location. It is not. This is photorealism brought on by talented developers and real time hardware accelerated ray tracing. The other part, ray traced audio was covered in depth in this video right here. 
Where working together with Microsoft, developers can bring realistic, adaptive, and dynamic sound to their worlds in-game with very little effort or resources. All these games into the next generation will be bigger and better, but Xbox is committed to getting them to you faster and keeping you in the game longer with less waiting by nearly eliminating load times and reducing installs drastically. The Xbox Series X will dramatically reduce the amount of wasted time it takes to get back to your games thanks to an integrated NVMe SSD and large memory cache. But with Xbox Series X, we're actually able to do that for multiple titles. And we've basically taken this to the next level of capability. And this is really uh, powered by our custom built SSD that's a part of the Xbox Series X, mm -hmm. which actually allows us to have multiple games saved at any one time. And then I can instantly jump between them or jump into them and resume exactly where I was when I left off. Yeah, because I got to tell you, I, I, I'll probably get in trouble for talking about this. Sorry, Phil, but here we go. Uh, one, of the, one of the things I was noticing when I was in the lab was I was playing it I was switching back and forth just real quickly and seamlessly between games but then I had to reboot because I had a system update and then I went back to the game and went right back to it so it survives a reboot that's amazing so the games will play fast at 60 fps and 120 fps the games will load up fast seconds from a cold boot auto resuming even if you restarted or updated the console the Xbox Series X is incredibly balanced and speed does not stop there. The hardware team has focused on getting that speed across the wireless controller and large UHD TVs thanks to Dynamic Latency Input or DLI. Yeah, so DLI, you know, one of our focus areas, gamers really demand a, a low latency experience and they want to have the most precise and responsive controls. So what we've really done is we've analyzed the end-to-end -end pipeline to really identify every area of the pipeline where we can reduce latency. And when we talk about games running at 120 frames a second, yeah. that ultra low latency is critical to having a really great gaming experience. So we knew we needed to improve everything from the controller to the console, as well as the console to the TV with new features in HDMI 2.1, such as auto low latency mode or variable refresh rate. And that includes things like influencing the direction of the HDMI standard to add gaming-centric features that maybe have existed in PCs for a while. And we're now bringing those to the console and we're bringing them to the TV ecosystem. Xbox Game Studios is currently working on some 20 plus games for the Xbox Series X and the Xbox platform, but the Back and Pat team is hard at work bringing up the 3,000 plus Xbox One games to the next generation, and many of them will see improvements you never thought possible on a software solution to port games you already own or may buy from previous console generations. And we really want to make sure that players, whether you're playing on an Xbox One or you're playing on an Xbox Series X, you always get the best version of the game that's been tailored for that device. Sure. And we're making this technology available to our third-party developers as well. And I'm really excited that CD Projekt Red uh, announced support with Cyberpunk because Cyberpunk's going to be one of the biggest games this year. Yeah. And knowing that you can purchase the game this year and then when you actually buy an Xbox Series X and they release an update, they'll, you'll get that automatically. If you are unsure about the wonder behind the Xbox backward compatibility program, load up 2007's Assassin's Creed on Xbox One X and watch the game go from sub 720p to a full native 4K thanks to the 16x texture filtering and automatic resolution scaling, making an old game like Red Dead Redemption from 2010 looking better than you remember. Developers typically lock frame rates on console games, especially in the Xbox 360 and Xbox One generation. And because the backward compatibility software solution does not work like a PC, which has access to performance trade-off settings, games like Red Dead Redemption 2 already running at native 4K will likely not see a 60 FPS mode unless Rockstar patches the game. But games like Ninja Gaiden 2 from the Xbox 360 run at high resolution at 60 FPS and can look and feel remastered even better than a remaster like Platinum's Bayonetta. 
And then, you know, our back combat team is one of the best in the industry. And we're really looking at what new opportunities the Xbox Series X gives us where we can enhance titles even further than you've seen them before. When they were going through the process with back combat, they, they, some of the games have assets that you didn't even know were there or, or weren't revealed because the, 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 the consoles back then couldn't didn't have enough power to show that resolution or that color palette or what have you. And you're, they're unlocking all sorts of stuff. That's, it's kind of like an, a digital archaeologist, right? They're, they're finding all these crazy things, aren't they? Absolutely. And like I said before, they're inventing brand new techniques all the time. This starts the Xbox Series X generation with hundreds of games, and although not confirmed, it is likely that the PS5 will have to rely on hardware-based backward compatibility for PS4 games, which is why the next PlayStation console may be much lower powered than the next Xbox. The Xbox Series X with a mass of 12 teraflops of computing horsepower, a balanced fast CPU, hardware accelerated ray tracing, efficiency in variable rate shading, and super responsive controls and displays all delivered lightning quick thanks to a proprietary SSD pipeline. It looks like the next Xbox, along with hundreds of games and brand new re-energized first party exclusives, will be the console to look out for when it hits November 2020. This is Colt Eastwood. Thank you so much for watching. I'm excited to hear all this news coming from Xbox this generation. Thanks again for checking it out here. It's been a bit of a sensory overload with new things to cover almost every week. And I really appreciate the support as these videos take a few hours to produce. But I truly love the work and showing off the visuals these consoles can provide. Gaming is one of the best hobbies and thank you for being here to share it with me. If you like this video, let me know by liking and subscribing to the channel. I have a channel membership for those who want to join for a few bucks. That gets you early access to my videos a day or two before I put them up live. I share screenshots and artwork there for my channel. I also have a Patreon for a couple bucks that helps fund the channel and the software and hardware I use to make these videos. But most of all, just add me on Twitter and Xbox Live at Cold Eastwood. You can message me or talk gaming with there just about every day. I use the platform to get an understanding of what we're excited about. But the comment section is probably the most exciting place for me. It's good to see people excited about the new Xbox platform and seeing some switch or if you're like me getting both consoles next generation. I'll see you in that comment section. Please follow the rules, keep it clean, keep it respectful and just be nice.